Welcome back. Are you grappling with business problems that seem unrelenting and multidimensional? Wouldn't you rather turn these hurdles into opportunities for growth and learning? Today, we're going to uncover how you can address these wicked problems and transform them into stepping stones towards success. I know you're probably wondering what on earth are wicked problems and how are they different from everyday business challenges? Well, don't stop here. We'll delve into what wicked problems are and provide an eight step strategy to tame them. And we'll also reveal how leading companies worldwide are leveraging these methods to create success stories. Wicked problems are complex, interconnected issues that divide simple solutions. Now often, businesses mistakenly handle these problems in isolation, using conventional problem-solving methods, leading to short-term fixes and missed opportunities for systemic improvements. Let's demystify approaching these problems with a comprehensive step-by-step -step process. First, we need to understand the problem, dive deep, go beyond the symptoms. Second, build a multidisciplinary team. It takes diversity to tackle complexity. Third, engage stakeholders, ensure inclusive and effective solutions. Fourth, encourage collaboration. Wicked problems need cooperative solutions. Fifth, adopt a systems approach. You have to look at the big picture. And sixth, you need to use design thinking to embrace experimentation and iteration. And you also need, as a seventh point, to consider ethical implications. Values matter in problem solving. And eighth, of course, you need to monitor and adapt solutions and be ready to pivot to new ideas based on new insights. Leading companies like AIG and Novo Nordisk have employed variations of these steps, using coaching and leadership development programs to navigate through complex challenges. But why do many organisations resist such non-traditional approaches? Well, first of all, some of them lack awareness. Not everyone is aware of alternative methods. There's risk aversion. New approaches might seem uncertain and risky. Third, there's the classic resistance to change. It's tough to break free from the familiar. Fourth, you might have limited resources. Novel approaches might require significant investment. There might also be stakeholder opposition. New methods might disrupt the status quo. And there may be a lack of evidence. Convincing data might be insufficient to support new approaches. But not everything is lost. You can turn these resistances to receptiveness by adopting a few effective strategies. First of all, articulate the benefits. Make sure you're clearly highlighting how these non-traditional approaches can provide more effective solutions. Second, build a compelling case. Gather and present strong evidence. Use case studies, success stories, and relevant statistics that speak for the effectiveness of these methods. Third, you need to involve stakeholders. Get all hands on deck. Involve your stakeholders in developing and implementing these innovative approaches. You need to promote a sense of ownership and buy-in. You must address concerns. Be open and receptive to them or to complaints. Address them transparently and constructively. You also need to lead by example. Show, don't just tell. Demonstrate the effectiveness of the non-traditional approach through your actions and behaviours. You need to regularly evaluate and adapt. Remember, continuous improvement is key. Regularly assess the effectiveness of the new approach and be prepared to refine it as needed. This, of course, all builds on fostering a culture of innovation. You need to encourage a culture that values innovation and non-traditional thinking, creating an environment that's more open to fresh problem-solving approaches. So, are you prepared to challenge your approach and turn wicked problems into opportunities for growth and innovation? If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content. 
Share this video with your colleagues and spread the knowledge. Together, we can create a culture of innovative thinking and effective problem solving. Stay tuned for more insightful content. Remember, the only wicked thing about problems is not learning and growing from them.